Rheumatoid arthritis often starts during the prime of a person's working life, typically between the ages of 35 and 45, with women three times more likely to develop the disease than men. It is an incurable, painful and debilitating autoimmune disease where the body attacks itself, most notably in the joints. Methotrexate, or MTX, is the current drug prescribed for patients with RA in the UK. But if this treatment is not working, patients may also be given a biological drug to help control their disease. However, of the estimated 46,000 RA patients on a biological treatment, one in three are not taking methotrexate, often because they are intolerant to this treatment. The other most widely prescribed drug is Humira. However, a pioneering study has shown fantastic results among 326 patients at five trial centres in the UK, which has shown that almost four times as many RA patients achieve complete disease remission, taking Romectra in comparison to Humira for patients who cannot take methotrexate. Professor Sem Gaby talks about the results of Romectra. Joint inflammation is assessed by the number of tender joints, the number of swollen joints, as well as increasing the likelihood to achieve a remission. So if you, are, if you were on the tocilizumab group, you were more likely to reach a remission, to have less tender, tender joints and uh, less pain. It is important for rheumatologists because a lot of the patients are treated in monotherapy. In different registries, we can see that roughly a third of the patients are treated in monotherapy. So for these patients that need to be treated in monotherapy because, for example, they are intolerant to a combination with methotrexate, for example, tocilizumab might be a good choice for the treatment of these patients. And the good news is that at £9,500 per patient per year, Roactemra costs about the same as Humira, and the NHS cost-effectiveness watchdog NICE has already approved of Roactemra when combined with methotrexate. It is believed that these new results may lead to the drug being given to larger numbers of patients on its own. I am Anne Salter, thanks for watching. For the latest news and updates, follow me on our website at ibtimes.co.uk.